Highland Park school officials are holding what's expected to be a well attended safety meeting tonight in anticipation of new security measures for the coming school year. WGN's Jenna Barnes is live in Highland Park now with more tonight. Jenna. Ray, the school board is meeting here in just about an hour to go over security for the new school year. And in the wake of Uvalde and, of course, the July 4th shooting, parents are offering their own ideas on how the district can improve safety. I think every parent is probably having concerns and discussions about school safety. Ashby Beesby is one of them. After the shooting at Robb Elementary in Uvalde, she posted outside her son's school in Highland Park with a metal detector wand for the remainder of his school year. I, you know, was like, I'm going to go stand in front of my kid's school and wand people and um, sort of take action because I was sick sending my kid to school. I was physically ill. Then she and her rising first grader were forced to run for their lives at the 4th of July parade. The only thing that is going to stop a mass shooting at a school is keeping guns out of the school. Now she's asking North Shore District 112, which serves children in pre-K through eighth grade, to consider banning visitors from bringing bags into school buildings. We already do this. We already do this at, at Wrigley Field. We already do this at the Bears Stadium. We can, you know, feel a lot more confident with our kids going into school. Right now we're taking all ideas, we're considering them, we're running them through our security consultant. Superintendent Dr. Michael Lubefeld says both Uvalde and the parade shooting have led them to reflect on their own security procedures for behavioral threat assessment, response protocols, and facility hardening, ensuring they're aligned with the recommendations of the Illinois Terrorism Task Force. We have a sophisticated cameras and sophisticated locking mechanisms. We're looking to see, can we up the ante a little bit. Are they the right cameras? Are they the right locking mechanisms? So in areas where we might need to upgrade, we're literally accelerating that and we're doing that in real time. As the first day of the year nears in a traumatized community. And we're going to do everything in our power and with our hearts and minds to protect them and to help them enter into this transition right now. For Ashby Beasley, that means a bag ban. If it doesn't happen, I mean, I'm prepared to come back and sit in front of my kid's school. The superintendent says any changes will be announced before the first day of school on the 24th. Tonight's meeting will be open for public comment, but because it's about safety and security, the board's discussion will happen behind closed doors. We're live in Highland Park. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.